Well, while kids are heading back to school, farmers across Acadiana are gearing up for harvest season. One of the crops being picked is rice. Eric Zernick talks with one farmer to find out how this year's crop is looking. 2019 has been a trying one for rice farmers as the relatively wet weather since last fall has been pushing back the entire process. We weren't able to get the fall work done in the fields like we normally like to. It, it delayed the planting in the spring, which has delayed the harvest until now. It's a couple of weeks later than we like to be. And to make matters worse, Hurricane Barry caused even more issues for the rice crop. Barry came in right about the time rice was flowering and pollinating and and high wind and rain at that time is, is just not good. It um, caused a lot of disease, more disease pressure, more plank heads than we already would have had with the rain. Now as rice farmers begin harvesting, they're dealing with another battle of the daily showers preventing them from getting in the fields. Anytime we get a rainfall event, we have to stop harvest. So the last week or so we've had pretty much daily rain, so it's kept us out of the field and the longer farmers have to wait to harvest, the more the rice crop is losing value. When you get ripe rice that needs to come out of the field and you get too much rain on it, you can have a quality issue and it'll, if the wind blows, it starts to, you know, the plant's heavy, it'll start to fall down and lo what we call lodge and then um, it, uh, it really impacts the yield and the quality. Because of these challenges, profits are taking a hit. It's not been a really good season and because of that, the yields are less less than where we'd like to be. Farmers are hoping for sunshine and drier weather in the coming weeks to make up some of what they have lost. Reporting in Crowley, Eric Zernick, KTC TV3. In